I saw a garden rose turn its face towards the sun. And then it looked at me and said, what we behold, we will become. We are not just the sum of all our parts. We are future, present, past. We are absence and we are presence. Marked by the transcendent, made of scar tissues and stars, dead and buried in the heavens, we are more than what we are. I saw that self-portrait done by Rembrandt. And in his expression, poverty and repentance, but I lingered a little longer and then I saw my own reflection. I remembered that we are tethered, connected in our weakness, dependent like flowers towards the sun upon a beauty that's not our own. Every inhale and exhalation is our leaning, is our reaching towards the light. But now we just take Mona Lisa selfies, eyes empty, composed of brush strokes of anxiety, in denial of the heavenly, surviving on a diet of doom scrolling and jealousy. I met a monk dressed in robes. He was old and said, death is readying. Still, he stood composed and said, son, when addressing me. He had a beard like Aaron, so I asked him for his recipe. He smiled with affection and with a voice more breath than anything said, son, it's been seven years since I've seen my reflection. Any compliment for my presentation has less to do with intention, but more a desperation to be free from self-obsession. He said, son, we are free when we forget ourselves. You must rid yourself of any inner sense of pseudo sense. He said, son, this is why we live in hell. We have given glory to the shadows upon a wall instead of the light source in which the glory dwells. He said, son, this is a story that we know well. Hundreds of years before Christ said, I am the light. Plato wrote the cave about a society that enslaves itself. I hear the art critics question if the Mona Lisa is smiling in her expression. I don't know the answer, but I'll give you my suggestion. I think she knows the greatest artists hide themselves in their creations. So she laments a generation that has lost its sense of the transcendent. We have become like Simba, walking with our aim in the wastelands of our shame. Kings and queens living like orphans because we forgot from where we came. We have forgotten our very name. But that old monk, like the prophet Rafiki, told me to look into the water and then look a little harder. He said, at first you'll see yourself, but then you'll see Mufasa. He said, at first you'll see your beauty or perhaps the scars that have marked you, but if you stay a little longer, son, then you will see your father. And when you see the eyes of God looking back through your own gaze, you might get so caught up in reverence that you forget your own face. I saw a garden rose turn its face towards the sun. Then it looked at me and said, what we behold, we will become. Thank you very much.